We have tested so, so many Sonic related games in the series that your requests for other titles from other franchises have come pouring in. In my previous episode, I mixed it up a bit by bringing Doom and Virtua Racing Deluxe into the mix. Nonetheless, I was just dipping my toes into the water, and today, I'm prepared to go further. Don't worry, Sonic isn't going anywhere. I still have plenty of ideas for him, but today, we're giving the Sega appliances a rest, and we're going to be testing a hack for the Nintendo 64. Nintendo and 64, that, whoa, whoa, whoa. get out of here, go! It's my time to shine, this is my childhood console. I remember getting this system for Christmas back in the late 90s and spending all those hours on Goldeneye, Mario Kart, Conker's Bad Fur Day and plenty more. So, what ROM hack are we testing? Perfect Dark, Super Mario 64, Legend of Zelda... Really? <laughs> Ronaldinho Soccer! Ronaldinho Soccer 64 is a bootleg Nintendo 64 game by TEG Peru and was released in early 98 and only in Brazil. Being a hack of Konami's International Superstar Soccer 64, the number of changes is quite surprising. To discover all of these, we will be using the Japanese console with the EverDrive 64X7. Now, there is an actual cart of this, but we were unable to obtain one due to it being so rare. But according to sources, the game will refuse to start because of a missing CIC, but you're able to bypass this with a Nintendo Passport. Luckily, this is not required for the EverDrive flashcards due to its Ultra CIC3 with region auto detection. Unless you have version 2.5 or lower, you can just flick the switch that matches your system. But enough procrastinating, let's start this thing. We begin with seeing the Konami screen being completely stripped out and replaced with a static image of... Ronaldo? Alright then. The Major A Productions animates the same, but it uses a diverse tune. Then, the iconic mean screen featuring none other than... Ronaldo again? But twice? Is Ronaldinho just a supporting player in this? No! He's not even on the team! Why is it called Ronaldinho Soccer then? We're then into the menus, and they're all visually untouched. However, again, the melodies for all of these screens are different. But one outstanding change which deserves a round of applause is the player name. They've all been altered to have real-life names instead of made-up ones, and this doesn't just apply to Brazil, but all teams in the game. Konami lacked the license to use the actual player names, but when a company is hacking the title, screw the consequences. I mean, in the actual game, you could manually change the player names, but who has time for that? So far, everything is performing well, but how does the gameplay fare? Kicking off against France, we got thrashed. But the important takeaway is that everything runs smoothly. We spotted no graphical modifications, but the change that immediately stood out was the commentators were now speaking in Portuguese. Olé, rapace, domina vola. We personally don't speak the language, so we don't have a clue what they're saying, but it makes sense this being a Brazilian release only. We had so many matches against the CPU, and it's tough to compete. It wasn't until we lowered the difficulty in options that we started scoring some goals. We completed several matches against the bots, and a few two-player matches as well, and were not able to come across any game-breaking bugs or crashes. Then we got out the PAL console and booted up the game, and to our surprise, it worked fine! The system will go into NTSC mode when playing this ROM, despite it being a PAL machine. But it's the game that dictates which television standard is used. So, as long as you have an NTSC compatible display, you're good to go. If you have a sensitive ear, you may pick up the music that has crept in speed, but you're able to easily ignore it. The gameplay momentum seems unaffected, however. We can safely say whatever console region you own or flash cart you have or plan to buy, you'll be pretty happy playing this. Does Ronaldinho Soccer 64 work on real hardware? Yes! And there you have it people, the game that turned into a meme does indeed function flawlessly on a Nintendo 64. I have had a lot of fun testing this out for you, but unfortunately this will be it for me forever on. Because, you see, my husband is much better than me as voiceover, he's so great and wonderful, he's absolutely amazing and... You really think I'm going to admit all of that on camera? You've got another what? thing coming. Hang on, I mean, I've got a script here for you, it's a list of chores, oh. come back in.